Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free QuickBooks Online tutorial video. This video is totally for free and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to use the projects feature on QuickBooks Online. Things like what the projects feature is, how to use it, how to assign income and expenses to projects and lots of other things too such as timesheets. To access projects you should see a link in this left hand sidebar so mine's kind of center but it could be anywhere in this sidebar if it's not showing at all you might need to go to the gear cog icon click on account and settings go to advanced and enable projects or it could be that you have a very basic simple quickbooks package and you need to upgrade to a package that does have the projects feature. So let's go to projects and this is what projects looks like. We have a couple of buttons at the top right here and we have a list of our projects. So there's two projects currently showing on here, accounting conference and bookkeeping master show. The whole point of projects is to assign income and expenses to a project that the business, company, charity, entity is running, is doing, is managing to see the overall profitability of that project. So it could be a conference, it could be a show, it could be a building that's being renovated, it could be the company is actually constructing buildings, or it could be the company is a landlord and wants to see profitability per property that it lets. It could be a number of things. It could be that you just want to use projects for marketing, see how effective your marketing is. You can allocate you, your costs of certain marketing projects and the income that's come from those marketing projects. You can be as creative as you want, but it's a very useful feature. But that's pretty much why people use it. Some people use it purely just for the cost factor or just purely for the income factor rather than profitability. So it could be that you only want to record the cost side of projects or the income side of projects you can do that but for most people it's used for profitability the income minus the costs so to add a new project we go to the top right here click on new project and we name the project let's call this project free bookkeeping accounting.com which is my website loads of free stuff check it out so this is project name free bookkeeping accounting.com which customer is this project for? It's for sample customer. That's all we need to do to create the project. There are some other options down here. We can enter a start date if we want to. We can enter an end date or expected end date for this project. The project status and any notes about the project. But as mentioned, it's only these two top boxes you need to fill, it, fill out the project name and the, the customer that this project is for. It could be that the customer is not currently on QuickBooks, so you have to add the customer and then you can create the project. So now that that is saved, if we go back to projects, you can see our project here, www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com is showing. Now how do we sign income and expenses? or sales and costs to this project. Anytime you want to enter a sale, whether that's a sale receipt or raise a sales invoice, there's going to be an option to assign a project and that's what will do it. The same with expenses, if you're going to record any form of cost, whether that's a timesheet, an expense, recording an invoice from a supplier, any of those things there will be an option to assign a project so let's go through that now so under invoicing so if we have sample customer and we go to new invoice there's nowhere obvious on this screen where we can assign a project you know usually there'll be like an option here a column for projects it actually shows under the customer's name at the top left here so if I click on this drop down list we can see the three projects that are assigned to this customer. We want to assign this sales invoice to freebookkeepingaccounting.com. We fill in the invoice just like we normally would. 
nothing different it's just an invoice template just fill it out as you would normally put in the sales amount when this invoice is saved it will be assigned to the project so you can see there's a project column here if that's not showing you might have to click on this gear cog here and see if you can find projects and ticket but this invoice has been assigned to project freebookkeepingaccounting.com and if we go to projects you'll see that there's income now of 8,500 which is the invoice I just raised against this project so here we go 8,500 it's the same with sales receipts so if we go back to sample customer and we have a sales receipt it's the same process you just find the project up here and then fill in the sales receipt just like you normally would so there we go 50 pounds that's been recorded and now this is 8550 with the expenses it's a bit more simple so if you have an expense you fill out the expense just as you normally would there's actually a column at the end here for the project so you'd fill out the expense let's say 2500 and then right here we have our project that we assign and save that when it comes to supplier invoices so recording a purchase invoice it's the same process you'd have a bill fill in the details just like you normally would and then once again we have this column at the end that we can assign to the project if we now have a look at projects you can see that I have both income and expenses assigned to this project because I've been assigning them sales and expenses and expense an invoice a sales receipt and a sales invoice alternatively what you can do is click on the project and then use this option at the top right add to project to record an invoice a sales receipt an expense a supplier's invoice so you don't have to go through the normal channels you can actually come to the projects and assign these things here but just be careful that you don't duplicate invoices and receipts and things like that by entering them as you normally would and then entering them again on this project screen if you have time hours salaries wages that you want to assign to a project perhaps there is one project in marketing and you have one person that works in marketing and you want to assign their wage to project you can do that under expenses but if you have someone that works on a variety of projects and you want to bill their hours build their wage separate their wage segregate their salary between all the different projects that's where timesheets come into play so at the top left here we can click on new and click weekly timesheet when you fill in the hours that an employee has worked you can assign the project by choosing it in this drop down list so you have customer and project so let's say Joe Bloggs worked three hours on Monday to 15 on Wednesday 1 1 and 1 these hours by his cost per hour will be assigned to this project this will not impact the financial accounts at all it just impacts the project so I now click save this timesheet will be saved against this project if you want a more simple way of recording hours or wages or salary against the project then simply click on it go to add to project and click on time this is a more simple way of recording hours and cost to the project so 10 hours and 25 pounds it was Joe Bloggs on the 17th if I now close this it will assign that to the project to see the profitability the profit margin the overall cost and income in more detail simply click on the project 
and you can see a breakdown of the income and the costs involved on this screen. If you want to see things in even more detail, click on transactions and you can see the individual transactions allocated to this project. This does not include those timesheets, so these are transactions on the financial accounts. The time is here under time activity. With project reports, you can print off a number of reports, view a number of reports for project profitability. Once a project has been completed and you don't want to assign to the project anymore, you simply just change the project status from in progress to completed. And there we have it, a quick overview of all the features on QuickBooks Online. You can see that my project is now longer showing because it's been completed. We can change that though by just clicking all statuses here for all three to show. Or if you just want to see projects that are completed, click on completed. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped. Please like, please subscribe, leave a comment in the section below. It all helps. It really does support this channel. All this stuff is for free, so all support is appreciated. There's loads of other free content on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Thank you, and I'll speak to you in another video.